And here we are with the second video on the new updates released for Naraka with the September 24th update. Let's start with our Zai, who received a slight buff to Flame Ward, increasing the duration of her ability to 3.5 seconds. However, the Flame Ward, Ignition Ability, which allowed her to recover health over time, has been removed. Regarding her ultimates, Chain Scythe has seen a change in how the released strike now requires aiming directly at the enemy. As for Chain Scythe, Afflict, this skill has been removed as well. Now, let's check out Flame Ward and its duration in the testing field. Now let's head to the testing field to see how her ultimate Chain Scythe performs as well. You can see that every shot within the blue reticle will hit and cause damage. Now let's move on to Valda Kui and her abilities, as she has also undergone a slight rework. Water Trap will now take over the function of the outgoing Water Trap, Array, allowing us to charge the shot to release more water bubbles. As I mentioned earlier, Water Trap, Array, will be removed. Her ultimate, Rising Tide, Barrage, will also be removed from all game modes except for Showdown. Now let's take a look at Water Trap, both in its classic version, without holding down the F key and the charge version, by holding down the F key. The last hero in question regarding the changes is Faria Shen, who also had her skill gunplay, Scattershot removed. As for her ultimate, the ability Mech Mayhem has been modified, and a new function has been added. By pressing the V key when the ultimate is activated, nearby teammates will receive damage reduction. Additionally, her ultimate Mech Mayhem, Restore, has also been removed from her skills. Now let's see how her ultimate appears in use. As you can see, in the area of the ultimate, there will be a different coloration than usual, allowing us to press the V key to create a damage reduction circle that will help our teammates. The radius of use is really quite extensive, making it perfect for safeguarding the defense and life of our teammates, even in large areas or when we are far from them. As for the other changes, there has been a modification to the horizontal charge of the spear, which has been adjusted to be more usable even in aerial combos. A new Soul Jade Swift Cut has been added for the katana, which will modify the horizontal charge with this stunning move. Two new Soul Jades have also been added for the first blade, Tempest Kick, which will modify the second stage of the vertical attack. The other newly added Soul Jade is Sky Punch, which modifies the uppercut to launch the opponent much higher. With this update, events couldn't be missed. We find a brand new event called Alchemy Trials, where we can collect spark by opening chests in the game, with a maximum of 300 spark per week. These crystals can be used by pressing Mineral Craft, which will provide one or more slots of various available crystals. Completing Azurite grants 10 spark, completing Glaciath will give you 10 Bimon Jade, which provides access to various available rewards. Umberlith will grant a doubling bonus of the possible crystals obtained using Spark after completion, and Soul Flare will give you access to this chest, which provides 80 Bimon Jade and 2 Perdoria chests. Now let's take a look at the rewards obtainable. Spirit Horn, a stunning weapon skin for the spear at 75 Bimon Jade Gilded Dragon, an accessory for Liam Liu at 50 Bimon Jade Aureate Outfit Choice Gift, at 90 Bayman Jade, containing some truly incredible outfits, Oriate Party and Accessory Choice, gift at 60 Bayman Jade with some fantastic items as well. Travel Cloths, 7 stars, a cute outfit for 30 Bayman Jade, a funny emote for Killian at 10, Bayman Jade 1, Aurora, Treasure for 18, Bayman Jade, Scorekeeper Card, at 10 Bayman Jade, 10% XP bonus at 4, Bayman Jade, Spectral Silk, Gift at 5, Bayman Jade, 1, Rebirth Bead for 2, Bayman Jade, 1, Small Tay String for 1, Bayman Jade. 
Now let's move on to the other event called Light and Shade, where each day you'll have the option to choose between a 25% score bonus in case of victory in ranked modes, and in case of defeat, you will only lose half of the points you would normally lose, or 150% bonus XP and hidden treasure XP in all modes. By completing challenges, you will earn Eurekas, which will give you this bonus when used during matchmaking. Now let's check out the rewards you can obtain. The first reward, 800 Spectral Silk. Second reward, Black Donkey's Hoof Accessory for Killian 2. Kite Items, 3 Aurora Coins, a skin for the first blade, an Aurora Treasure, and finally, a nice background for Zipping Yin. We also have the final event which is connected to the showdown mode, where in addition to the usual items, you can get this adorable emote for Valdakui. Thank you for watching, I remind you that Naraka is free to play on every platform. I hope you enjoyed it, if so, why not subscribe, leave a like or a comment, and activate the notification bell for my videos.